Good morning, and thank you for joining Beneo and Food Navigator. My name is Stephen Gumney, Beneo's Regional Product Manager for Rice Ingredients. I'm joined today by my colleague, Jamie Matthews. Over the next half hour, we will take a deep dive into the exciting, indulgent world of dairy-free, plant-based desserts. Together, we will explain why this exciting category will continue to grow and how Beneo's natural rice ingredients can be used to create indulgent desserts without the need for dairy. Before we begin, we would like to share with you a few words from John Peters, Regional Sales Director for Benio. Hello, I'm John Peters, Regional Sales Director for the Americas at Benio. Thank you for joining us today as Benio and Food Navigator present this webinar on innovating for true indulgence with dairy-free desserts. At Benio, our mission is to contribute to better nutrition and health via healthy, plant-based functional ingredient solutions that meet today's consumer trends. About half of U.S. consumers believe plant-based products are healthier, and about 30% of the people in Latin America intend to eat a more plant-based diet due to the pandemic. These trends are leading to more innovation in dairy-free products and replacing texture of dairy and desserts can be a significant challenge. Today, we will explain how to use clean label rice ingredients to create exciting and indulgent dairy-free desserts. Enjoy the webinar and thank you again for joining us. Moving on, we're gonna talk briefly about the dairy alternative market. The popularity of dairy alternatives has already been thoroughly documented. Market reports will show you double-digit growth rates, global acceptance, and many new product launches. You could also visit a local grocery store and see dozens of choices available today. But I might have an easier way to prove it to you. Take a moment and simply consider how many plant-based webinars you've been asked to join in the past year. I counted four this week alone. <laughs> so my goal here today is not to overload you with statistics and figures, but rather to highlight two key things. The market is growing and the variety of products is expanding. When we look at the category overall, it is clear that dairy-free milks and other beverages are still the dominant application uh, pretty much everywhere across, across the globe. But today, we're gonna focus on a smaller, more indulgent piece of this overall trend and hopefully inspire you to go wild in the dessert aisle. So what causes a customer to choose dairy alternatives. It might not be surprising to see that long-term health and sustainability are the primary reasons consumers choose a plant-based alternative. However, it is interesting to note consumers in one survey also said that novelty and taste preference are equally as important as sustainability. This could suggest that even in a group of health-conscious shoppers, many still have a craving for something indulgent from time to time. And of course, like pretty much everything else in our world, the COVID-19 pandemic has impacted consumer choices for food as well. Some of these changes are likely to endure even after the pandemic is in our rearview mirror. We will soon enough get back to normal, but some of the disruptions we have seen will have a lasting impact. Two years ago, it would have been hard to imagine how fast we could adapt to things like working from home and staying connected virtually. In the same sense, it's possible consumers will be more open to choosing different foods like dairy alternatives. The pandemic has put a spotlight on overall health and the connection between food, nutrition, and health has never been clearer in the consumer's mind. I hope by now you're starting to see why I personally am so excited about the potential for this market. We have a category with strong brand leaders and new innovative products coming out every week it seems. At the same time, consumer preferences are aligned towards making healthier, responsible choices in their meals. The question is, what's next for dairy-free? Particularly in the dessert space, my short answer is diversification. It used to be that the only dairy-free dessert was frozen yogurt. Other desserts were not possible to make without using dairy. Traditional dairy has rightfully earned its place as the star of many of our favorite, most indulgent dessert products. 
whether it's frozen, whipped into a cream filling, or baked into a pastry crust, dairy is part of what makes dessert such an exciting sensory experience. It seems only logical, then, that as consumer preferences shift, they will demand a greater variety of dairy-free alternatives to satisfy their sweet tooth as well. If we look closer at this trend, we can see some market launches that are branching out further into the dessert space. Many are still in the spoonable category, like yogurts and frozen desserts. With these, developers are beginning to play with new flavor combinations to help cross over into more indulgent uh, options. Rich chocolate or bold tropical flavors can appeal to the consumer's sense of novelty. Still, one place that could have room for innovation is plated desserts, like cheesecakes, flan, or cannolis, one of my personal favorites. I'm excited to say that with the right ingredients, a fork full of delicious dairy-free indulgence is possible. If I could leave you with just two things today, I want them to be this. Number one, the dairy alternative category is going to continue to grow, and that includes desserts. And number two, rice starch is naturally unique when compared to other starches and is the perfect solution for replacing dairy in indulgent desserts and more. Baneo is the world's largest manufacturer of rice starch with over 150 years of experience. And while this expertise is certainly important, much of what makes rice starch special comes from nature. Rice granules are naturally small, allowing them to mimic the sensation of fat on the tongue. Rice is naturally white and does not have off flavors like some other starches do which means that it will not mask the other colors or flavors in your formula. Rice is naturally stable with unique starch molecules that are branched in a way that specifically resist things like cinerasis. All these factors come together to make rice starch a natural solution for dairy-free products. My colleague, Jamie Matthews, who manages Bineo's North American Application Center, is here to explain a little more about how to use rice starch in some exciting dessert formulas. Take it away, Jamie. Thank you so much, Stephen. It is a pleasure to have the opportunity to share some of our dairy alternative concepts that really take advantage of these unique technical characteristics of rice ingredients that you have so eloquently presented. The first concept we have is a vegan cheesecake. It's based on a traditional New York style cheesecake. This product is made with a vegan cream cheese that is then combined with soy cream and sugar to make up the cheesecake filling. The combination of rice starch and rice flour together contribute to a smooth and pleasant mouthfeel. The creaminess of this product is also enhanced with the use of long chain chicory root fiber at 8%, which also provides a source of prebiotic fiber to support digestive health. The next concept we have was developed out of our regional application center in Sao Paulo, Brazil. This is a plant-based dulce de leche, or dulce sin leche, as we like to call it. Traditionally, dulce de leche is prepared by cooking milk and sugar, and it has a unique texture and flavor due to Maillard browning. Our prototype uses an almond milk base and has optimized texture and mouthfeel thanks to rice flour and rice starch. These ingredients also promote stability by increasing dry solids content. Palatinose or isomaltulose is a reducing sugar isomer that along with vegetable protein facilitates the development of Maillard reaction flavors and appearance similar to that of traditional dulce de leche. This is a very versatile concept that can be eaten as is or used as a topping for other indulgent treats. Now we can't talk dairy alternatives without talking yogurt. This next concept is a plant-based fermented yogurt that can be enjoyed as is or dressed up with fruit, oats, or even confections for a more indulgent experience. This concept was developed to provide the same sense experience as dairy yogurt. Looking at the formulation, this coconut-based yogurt uses our rice starch and flour 
to optimize creaminess and texture. Our Remy, per, Remy Pure functionalized starch offers a clean label solution for process stability as well as acid stability, helping to prevent synergesis in fermented products like this one. Luckily, we have a very special video to share in a little while that will give you a much closer look at this yogurt and how it is made in our lab. Finally, we'd also like to share how our rice ingredients can be used in frozen desserts. This concept is a plant-based frozen dessert that takes advantage of rice starch's unique creamy mouthfeel in a low-fat product. Remy Gel rice starch helps to optimize body and mouthfeel while also enhancing freeze-thaw stability. Additionally, long-chain chicory root fiber further enhances creaminess and provides nice melting properties. Now, I could go on and on about these formulas, but at this time, we'd really like to give you a closer look with some technical videos. These were developed at our regional application centers in New Jersey and Brazil, where we provide technical support and inspiration for our customers. As I mentioned previously, the first is going to highlight our plant-based yogurt. This will be followed by a technical tutorial on chocolate creamy dessert featuring our very own Barbara Pocker, Application Center Manager in Brazil. We hope you will enjoy these videos. Hi, my name is Jamie Matthews and I'm here again at the Baneo Application Center. Today we're going to be making plant-based yogurt. Now dairy alternatives can be a challenging category, but with the right ingredient tools, you can develop great tasting products. I'm going to show you how to use our rice starch to build nice creamy textures in a coconut-based fermented yogurt. So let's get started. And there you have it, a creamy plant-based yogurt that looks and tastes just like dairy. Mm -hmm. That was pretty good. Steven, what do you think? I think it's amazing, Jamie. It's got a nice white color. There's no off flavors. Uh, it's just a great example of how our rice starch, Remy Pure S51, can be a clean label solution for both texture and stability in dairy alternatives. Nice job, Jamie. Thank you. For more information, including recipes or technical support, please feel free to reach out. Thanks, and we'll see you next time. Welcome everybody, my name is Barbara Petker and I'm working at the Beneo Regional Application Center in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Today we are going to show you how you can make a delicious coconut-based chocolate creamy dessert by using Beneo ingredients. We will explain you later on the advantages of using Beneo rice ingredients in combination with long-chain inulin to create a dairy alternative product with a great texture and appearance. Let's start! The preparation process will be done in a thermomix and for a 1 kg batch you will need 
560 grams of water, 200 grams of coconut milk, 130 grams of sugar, 45 grams of Remy Pure S51, 25 grams of alkalinized cocoa, 20 grams of Remy Flow R790 TCP, 15 grams of Orafti HPX, 5 grams of Acacia Gun, 0.3 grams of carrageenan and chocolate and vanilla flavors. Preparation Add the liquids in the thermomix and set temperature to 95 degrees at speed 3. Heat to 40 degrees and add the powder premix. Heat it up to 60 degrees and set speed at 5 for 1 minute. Now, back to the speed tree, we heat it further to 95 degrees and keep it for 5 minutes at the same temperature. Cool it down to 70 degrees and feel hot in small containers. In this case, I'm filling in a small glass jars. Turn the jars upside down and let them cool down to 30 degrees and then transfer to a fridge or a cooling chamber at 5 to 8 degrees. It should be kept refrigerated for at least 48 hours before being tasted. Hi, here I am again, ready to taste it. As you can see, this plant-based dessert has a smooth and glossy appearance. No signs of cinerases in the nice creamy texture, as expected for this type of dessert. And it tastes great! It has a creamy and full body mouthfeel. All these nice features are obtained thanks to the use of Beno ingredients that result in an optimal technological and sensorial characteristics. We added our clean label functional rice starch Remy Pure S51, providing texture, body, and stability to this dairy free dessert, while our Remy Flow R790 TCP, which is a finely wet milled rice flour that contributes the dry matter and also to the final texture and finally our long chain inulin or after hpx creating a um, creamy and fat like mouthfeel the three of them working perfectly together and finally i have two important remarks to make first this recipe can be adapted to other plant-based sources like almond or hazelnut you can check the recipes on mybeneonet.com. And second, Beneo has other rice starches and inulin in his portfolio. So according to your customer requirements for texture, labeling, and sometimes type of equipment available, we can recommend different ingredients, dosages, and combinations. And please contact our local CTS for further information. Hope you have enjoyed this dessert and video. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Saludos. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the videos we showed today. And I want to take this time to send a personal thank you to Jamie and Barbara from the Benio Technology Center for not only making such delicious dairy-free desserts, but also for being such great movie stars and showing us all how they did their work. Um, so before we wrap up today's webinar, we did get a few questions that we'd like to go ahead and answer now for the group. Um, the first question from Nariana asks, can tapioca starch or modified tuber starches play a role? Nariana, choosing the right starch source is critical to getting the desired texture in your dessert or any other application. Starches like tapioca and potato are popular in some other applications, like gluten-free baking and analog cheese, for example. When it comes to replacing the creamy, smooth, and rich textures of dairy, however, rice really is hard to beat. 
Rice starch naturally provides the small particle size, neutral taste, white color, and creamy soft gel structures, all key elements when formulating a dairy-free dessert. Our next question, Veronica asks, what is the best rice starch for use in these applications? And Jamie, would you like to take the answer to this one? I will, Stephen. Thanks so much. This is a great question. And, and while we have a wide range of rice starches available, the answer is that it really depends on the textures and product characteristics that you are looking to achieve, as well as the processing conditions for your product. There's not really a one size fits all solution. Uh, for example, regular rice starch will introduce shorter texture than waxy varieties. Uh, and there are even situations where a combination of the two can yield great results. Additionally, functionalized or modified starches can be appropriate for intensive processing where high heat or she shear stability is critical. Our sales team and technical experts are always happy to help you find the right solution for your product. Thanks, Jamie. Our last question, uh, Thomas asks, what is a functionalized rice starch and how is it used? And as Jamie touched on a little bit, um, Remy Pure, which is our functionalized native waxy rice starch, has a higher tolerance for process conditions like acidity, heat, and shear. These conditions can break down the starch granules and cause separation, loss of viscosity, and other issues in production, and also over the shelf life of a product. Typically, chemically modified starches are chosen when these harsh conditions are present to ensure the starch will not break down. These chemically modified starches, while effective, must be labeled in most regions as modified rice starch. In addition to a natural origin and the process stability, Remy Pure products are considered native starches and can therefore be labeled simply as rice starch. This makes them the ideal clean label texturizer for many applications. So that is it for our webinar today. Uh, I would like to thank everyone for attending. We appreciate your interest in not only dairy-free desserts, but also the rice ingredients that can help make them great. Um, once again, my name was Stephen Gummany. I am the regional product manager for Benio in North America. Uh, my colleague, Jamie, who manages our application center in New Jersey. Uh, we are both happy to help with any follow-up questions you might have now or in the future. And in addition, uh, we have a broad network of sales partners and sales managers all across the Americas that are here to help you uh, create the next best dessert. So thank you again, and we really hope to hear from you soon. Have a great day, everyone.